Welcome my friends, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create that sick animation. I visited one of my reels and the best part about it is that we got only one color that is standing out. So this is gonna be an extremely captivating technique to stop the scroll and without further ado I'm gonna show you how to do it. Alright so we're back in After Effects. So basically I grabbed two assets from my previous reel. We got a man with mouth tape and then we got a dark alley that is looking like that. Don't really mind that guy, we're gonna cover him with the other one. So the first thing we need to do is trim that layer to one frame. I'm gonna double click, go to the roto brush tool and we're gonna drag it through his body. If you hold Alt, you can deselect. That's the beauty of After Effects, you don't really have to go to Photoshop to do it. All right, we're pretty much set. I'm gonna hit Freeze, go back to the main window. I'm gonna right click, pre-compose, select that circle, call it Man, and hit Enter. Then I'm gonna right click, go to Time, Freeze Frame. And we're gonna pre-compose that layer one more time. We can actually delete the last part of the text. Hit OK, and we're gonna right click, Where's open? Open, open layer source. And here what we need to do is basically recreate that mouth tape, but we're gonna create our own. So for this, we're gonna grab the pen tool and I'm gonna just try to recreate it. Make sure you got nothing selected so you're creating a new shape. Okay, seems to be perfect. Now we're gonna change the stroke to none and I'm gonna change the fill color to solid. And we're gonna change it to orange. Let's hit okay. And that's what we have so far. There's an effect called linear wipe and if we start playing around with the transition completion we can reveal it in an easy way the only thing i'm gonna do is change the decrease to minus 90 and that way it's gonna be going from the other side so let's set it to 100 percent set the keyframe hit you move forward actually i didn't set it to 100 right now it is and i'm gonna change the value to zero percent so that's what we have so basically the mouth tape starts somewhere from here so we can set a keyframe delete the last one and extend and right now it's gonna go from the very beginning just gonna grab that point and align it with this one. Then we're gonna head over to our man and we're gonna add tint. Then to the tape we're gonna add the effect called deep glow. You can use regular glow, that's fine as well. And that's what we have, already looks pretty sick. Then I'm just thinking when it's revealing, we could actually bump up the feather to soften it out. Yeah, perfect. We could turn off the effect for now, just to make it smooth and go back. Now I'm also gonna add tint effect to the alley. So basically the only thing that is standing out is the tape. It's looking absolutely fantastic when it's done like that. I'm gonna right click, go to new camera, and we're gonna change the preset to 200, I'm just kidding, to 35 millimeters. Hit OK, OK again. Then we're gonna create a new null object, rename to cam control, parent the camera to the null, drag underneath, and we're just gonna change the color. We're pretty much set, the only thing we need to do is turn on the 3D layer. Okay, now I'm gonna drag that man somewhere here. I'm gonna scale it up, and we're gonna set the keyframe for position in our cam control. Let's put it to the very beginning. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and then zoom out. So that's what we have. And the problem is that there's no separation between the man and the background. So for this, I'm gonna open up the second view and we're just gonna grab that alley and with Z position, move it away and scale it up. Okay, I can see that we got a problem over here. So for this, I'm gonna scale up the man and something like that should do. Okay, you can already tell that we got that 3D feel in the background. We're also gonna need a text above. I'm just gonna retype what I said in the original reel. Okay, the original font I used back then, it was Laura. And as for the upper two lines, we're gonna turn off the caps. We're gonna decrease the size. And you know what, I'm gonna head over to window, paragraph, and we're gonna switch it to the left paragraph. As I'm looking at this, I feel like the bottom text should be a bit lower. Now we're gonna turn on the 3D layer and we're gonna put that text in front of the man and maybe a bit lower. Okay, a good idea here would be putting the text even closer. And then what I'm gonna do is grab that man and put him a bit lower. Okay, seems to be perfect. Now what we need to do is hit you. Select both keyframes, easy ease. We're gonna go to the graph editor and we're just gonna create peak on the left. Okay, looks pretty cool. We're gonna have a deep glow on that text. Let's turn off the effect for now. Go to the man. And just to make him more visible, we kind of need to emphasize certain parts that are brighter than others. So for this, I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna add deep glow and it's already much more visible. And if you head over to the input, you can bump up the threshold and only the brightest parts are gonna stay visible, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna also add curves. We're gonna decrease the shadows and make some parts brighter by creating an S curve. Let's go back. It's already standing out way more, which is pretty sick. I'm gonna add exposure to the alley and decrease the value over here. The goal is to make him stand out the most together with the tape. I'm gonna get a bit closer and also we're gonna head over to the camera, open up transform, alt click point of interest, regular procedure. We're gonna type in 2,20. Might be a bit too intense. We kind of want a shallow shake. Then we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. 
rename to vignette, add the effect, and below vignette we're gonna create another adjustment layer, which is gonna be called heat wave. Now we're gonna use the effect from universe, it's from Red Giant, and this is basically gonna give you that heat wave effect. You can see how it's moving right now, which is pretty cool. Now we're gonna turn on the motion blur, which is already making it look so good. Nice. We're gonna go back to the man, and here what we need to do is turn on the effects. It does looking so good when the tape is standing out. And then we also need to turn on the effect for the text. Just as I'm looking at this, I feel like we could head over to our text and we're gonna decrease the exposure just so the mouth tape is more visible. Something like that should do. Okay, that's looking so good. Absolutely love this one. I honestly think I recreated it perfectly to the original version. That'll be it for this tutorial and I encourage you to try that technique where everything is dark and then you have like one bright point in the screen. I think it's an extremely cool way to draw attention. With that being said, we're gonna wrap it up here and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.